Hey, this is Tony Martinez from thecrushgirls.com. I'm sure everyone's familiar with our press conference from yesterday. I just wanted to kind of sum up things uh, from our end at this point. Uh, again, uh, we are planning to sue Congressman Solomon Ortiz for defamation based on statements he made to the Brownsville Herald, uh, as well as those same statements being continued in uh, political ads he's running. Um, Basically, this again, this is not about politics or anything. I could care less about either side at this point, especially uh, Mr. Ortiz. And here is the statement that we are referring to. Uh, Mr. Ortiz stated to the Brownsville Herald this past weekend uh, that, um, and again, he's referring to Blake Farenthold, when they, quote, when they don't meet the standards they set for themselves, they open themselves up to ridicule, as my opponent did, by posing with semi-nude women, one of whom was a minor at an S&M party, unquote. That's what we are suing him for, mainly because, for one thing, um, he is clearly referencing uh, a sexually deviant activity and claiming that everybody there, obviously, he's obviously implying everybody there was, was a sexual deviant. Uh, that's clearly not the case. It was a simple birthday party. Um, how you go from that to s and party, uh, I mean, you've got to be an idiot, and apparently you are. Um, also, more importantly, he's referring to the ladies in attendance as semi-nude, and he directly referenced a minor who happened to be one of our crush girls. Um, sir, you don't even realize the damage you did by not only calling them half-naked, but associating them with, with that kind of party. Um, Here's a party of the actual minor. As you can clearly see, she is not half naked. Here's a part, uh, picture of her again with several of the other crush girls. Again, nowhere near close to being called half naked. Um, here's some of the staff. Yes, they're in lingerie. They look sexy. Half naked? Semi-nude? I seriously doubt it. Uh, here's models in bikinis that are showing a lot more skin and you would certainly never call them half naked. Um, Congressman, you've brought some of these women to tears by the fact uh, that you made that statement. Uh, again, calling them half naked, uh, associating them with a, a, an S&M party. You're basically calling them whores, okay? And like I said in my press conference, if you had done that in front of me, I would have knocked you out. Okay? This is man to man. It's not politics. You need to come out from behind your attorneys and your campaign staff and deal with this as a man because you made that statement. No one else. And you need to apologize for it. Okay? Um, I did speak with his campaign attorney, Mr. Rudy Gonzalez, this morning. They finally responded to my request to contact me. And as far as Mr. Gonzalez I, uh, said to me, uh, he just wanted to hear me out. I specifically asked him to remove the ads that refer to everything as an s &M party and for Mr. Ortiz to apologize and make things right. Uh, he, Mr. Gonzalez said he would uh, refer the messages to the campaign. I specifically asked him uh, when we would hear back from them and he said whenever the campaign felt like it. Uh, pretty much. Um, obviously they could care less about making things right and uh, I've yet to hear from them and um, I, you know it's just it's beyond me why why these people they know that it's right even their own Democrats I've heard from so many of them saying that they're embarrassed by what Mr. Ortiz did um, and, and they're embarrassed themselves your own party is um, as far as Mr. Gonzalez you know I'm gonna quote something you said uh, Attorney Gonzalez said to the uh, press yesterday uh, in response to our uh, press conference and uh, quote this is not intended as a smear campaign against anyone seriously okay it's merely reporting the fact that a party took place that there are photographs that are posted on the website that resulted from the party and individuals and voters can look at that website and determine for themselves whether that's appropriate or not unquote Again, Mr. Gonzalez, I'll agree with you on one thing. People certainly can visit our website. Go to thecrushgirls.com. Visit that gallery and see it for what it truly was. A simple birthday party uh, with a bunch of people having fun, including Blake Farenthold. Um, simple as that. Uh, I would like to see what kind of parties you may have attended uh, in the past that you may, you may be ashamed of, of being associated with that were perfectly harmless. Everybody's got that. I mean, everybody's done that. We're all, you guys pretend like you're not real people. <sighs> Bullshit, again. 
um, from uh, from both y'all's mouths. From from uh, that's a, an attorney defending a politician. That's so much bullshit. I can't even imagine uh, how much it would take to carry that that load. Anyway, uh, again, Mr. Ortiz, you need to uh, make things right. You need to apologize to everybody involved for the statement you made. Uh, you need to remove those ads. Uh, you need to make things right, okay? And uh, as far as voters out there, again, look at each candidate for uh, beyond this whole pajama gate. Look at each candidate and vote uh, based on what they stand for. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Ortiz is just full of bullshit. Um, he attacks women uh, for the sake of smearing his uh, his opponents just to get just to run for office. If that's the kind of character, a man that you want representing yourselves, um, certainly vote for him. Otherwise, uh, show him the door, like as I feel he should be shown. Okay, thank you.